In this video, I just wanna quickly go over some of the code that I use for finding Newton's method, um, if you're interested in that. Okay, so we did something that um, in our classes we often don't do. We're doing a symbolic um, manipulation, okay? So X is declared as a symbolic variable, meaning it can take on, it, it's like X in an algebraic expression, it can take on any value. As opposed to in MATLAB, um, usually X is given specific values um, to put in. So when X is symbolically computed, you can note that the X cubed didn't need the dot that we put in when um, X is a series of numbers, a vector of numbers. Okay, so F is a symbolic function now, All right? Let me highlight a few other things that happen in the code. Um, a lot of the parts of the code are for graphing points. I'm not gonna go into that. Line 28 is another example of a symbolic um, manipulation, okay? So in line 28, we diff f comma x. Well, what does that mean? Diff is short for differentiate. What are we differentiating? We're differentiating the function f with respect to x. When you get to multivariable, functions can have more than one variable in them. So we have to specify what we're differentiating with respect to, right? Then when we get down to this line of code, you can see we have a loop. But in this line of code, we're finding y a. That is our f of a value. Because remember, f of a is a y value. So I just called it y a. How did we get that? We're using the substitution command in MATLAB. So what does the substitution command do? Well, it takes the function f, which we know is a function of x, right? and it will substitute the value of a that we picked into the x value, oh, in as x, okay? So x will take on the a value, all right? And then we'll apply the function f to it, and then we'll get an output value, a single value in this case, right? And then we needed to find the slope for the tangent line, which is the derivative evaluated at a, Okay, so what did we do? We substitute it. Basically, we're substituting a in for x in df, which was the derivative function. Okay, um, so that gives us the value of the derivative at a. And then this line of code right here is the linear approximation. Okay, so y is y a plus m times x minus a, that is the linear approximation, all right. And then when we sub, uh, I'm sorry, solve that linear approximation for uh, setting it equal to zero, this is the algebraic result, right? And what does eval do? It's the evaluate command. So it evaluates what the result would be because M, A, Y, A, and M, some of those are symbolic. So we have to evaluate them in order to figure out where the new X intercept is, okay? Now notice this is all in a loop. So if the number of iterations was more than one, it will repeat the process starting with A has been reassigned, okay? And it repeats the process with a new A value. And MATLAB will very, very quickly um, compute these. Um, so we could, rather than just having one or two iterations, uh, you could, MATLAB can easily do um, many, many, many iterations in, in well under a second. Um, so if you're going to try to find a um, zero with high precision, setting up something like this in MATLAB is very useful. 